Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since I've um, posted a video uh, here on YouTube. Um, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you a tiny haul from uh, Lens Mills um, and uh, HomeSense. Um, then I'm going to talk about why I've been away for so long. Um, some of you may already know what's going on, but I will get to that um, after. Uh, I'm going to start off with Lens Mills. So um, not that long ago, my husband and I went to uh, the Lens Mills uh, location here in Guelph, uh, where I live. Um, and uh, yeah, the Lens Mills had moved uh, to a different location. Uh, it's actually now closer to Michael's um, here, here in Guelph. Um, so um, I'm just going to get started. Um, so yeah, um, this is my first time going to Lens Mills uh, since they've moved. And um, so everything in the store is quite organized and it's not as um, chaotic as um, as the other location um, that they were at. Um, I probably will end up going back to Lens Mills because they have an amazing selection of fabric, um, especially their Halloween fabric. Um, um, that's where you go um, if you want to buy fabric. Um, I've been to other locations like um, Kitchener and, and uh, whatnot, but um, f to me, I think Guelph is the better um, store with a better selection. So yeah, so um, I didn't buy any fabric this time. I just uh, bought a couple of crafting items, which I was, I'm not able to find anywhere else. Um, so now the prices at Lens Mills do vary, um, so but uh, and some things can be a little expensive, so you have to kind of watch out what you're um, purchasing. Um, anyways, uh, first item I had picked up were, was a pack of these acrylic beads. Uh, these were a dollar fifty nine. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but they're like marble in color. I figured these would be great for Halloween and you know, basically all year round as well. Um, and um, I actually ran out of these. Um, I bought three packs of these uh, key ring uh, clips. This, these are the clips I use to make my charms with, mainly. So it comes with like five in one pack. Um, these are $1.59 each. So about three packs. These should last me for a while. Uh, in silver, <clears throat> and I bought these uh, gem stone uh, embellishments, these sticker uh, embellishments. Um, these are, I thought these were really pretty to add on to my collection, so I bought two. Um, they're like different colors, and these were um, two dollars and nineteen cents. They're they're by Forever in Time, by the way. Um, and I bought a um, stamp set. Um, I think I saw Tina Kazarian um, uh, haul this uh, in, in the past. Uh, and I finally found them at my Lens Mills uh, store. Uh, these are the uh, Forever in Time clear stamps. These are, these are the kitty cat ones. Um, these This was $1.89. And actually, somebody at the store told that works at the store told me that uh, they actually love these stamps and they stamp really well. So um, I'm, I figure I'm gonna give these a go. Uh, they're absolutely adorable. I don't have a lot of cat stamps, so yeah, I was happy to find those. Um, and from HomeSense, um, quite a while ago, I had purchased this clear container. Uh, this was in their makeup section. Uh, comes with three drawers. Uh, I know you can buy similar ones like this uh, from a Dollar Tree, um, but this is a little bit bigger um, in size, and it's actually nicer than the ones that you can find at uh, Dollar Tree. Uh, this is for my desk. Um, I don't know. I'll just put um, 
whatever projects or I'm working on, I can just stick on here and just have on my desk. And there is um, a top here with a little lip. I could just put um, glue on top of here or whatnot. Um, and um, I also purchased um, quite a while ago, about a month ago actually, and I still didn't take it out of the package yet. Um, and also, um, Kelly G had uh, purchased this. I saw her pur uh, purchasing this. Um, I saw her haul this uh, in a showed this in a haul video. Um, I found the Fiskers. Um, um, the um, the uh, what's it called like the trimmer. So yeah, it was nine ninety nine. So I had to pick that up when I moved. I had um, uh, thrown away my um, my old Cricut one. So and I was really happy to find that. So and I needed a trimmer. So yeah, so that is my haul. Um, and uh, on to the reason why I've been away. Um, some of you already know that uh, my husband and I recently adopted a new fur baby. Yes, that's right. I do have a new kitty cat. Um, her name is Sophia. Her adopted name is Alice. Um, she is a all black kitty cat. She has some white um, spots on her chest and on her stomach, uh, but for the most part, she is a black cat. She is a totally a Halloween cat. Um, I know it sounds silly, but my husband and I have always wanted a black cat, and I think Sophia is going to be our last kitty, to be honest. Um, together, uh, we previously had a white cat named Sugar, um, and we had Bloke, of course, and now we have Sophia, who is a now an all-black kitty. Um, so it's funny, we've been through shades of cats um, through the uh, grayscale. Um, so yeah, my, we found out, um, about her through, uh, my husband's co-worker's daughter, who was fostering Sof Sophia, uh, or Alice at the time, um, on behalf of the Humane Society. So, and we got to meet Sophia, um, funny enough, she, before we adopted her out, she had a litter of all gray kittens. So I honestly believe that Bloke had brought her to us. Um, and uh, yeah, she's absolutely adorable. Um, she is shy but friendly, very different from Bloke. Um, and uh, considering we've had her for about a couple months, she's been doing great. She's, um, she's starting to warm up to us um, <clears throat> and um, However, um, shortly after we adopted her out from the Humane Society, uh, I would say about two weeks after, um, she started exhibiting signs of going into heat, uh, which is unusual for a cat that ha or female cat that has been spayed. Uh, a female cat that has been spayed is not supposed to be going into heat at all. Uh, because when you spay a cat, it's like having, it's like human, like a female, um, human having a hysterectomy where, um, and so, yeah, which is quite unusual. So, uh, again, she had kittens just before, a litter of kittens before we adopted her out. So it took us a while to adopt her out. And, uh, part of the service with, with the Humane Society is, um, is a spay or neuter. Um, your your pet before you they adopt them out to you um, <coughs> so they have a program uh, here at the University of Guelph um, they they have a sp spay and neuter program through the university um, and uh, that's where her spay was done um, and like I mentioned mentioned about two weeks after she started going to heat and my husband and I are experienced pet owners and we knew this was not correct. Like we knew there was something wrong. 
So, uh, uh, <clears throat> we actually were taking her into our normal vet, where she's registered, to have her one year booster shot. Uh, and we had explained all the symptoms to our vet and they advised us to get in contact with the Humane Society, which we did, and, um, <clears throat> and we mentioned, we did get in contact with the Humane Society and we explained that, uh, Sophia's going to heat. Um, and I also took video as well, just to prove that we were not going crazy. <laughs> so, um... And uh, yeah, so I had to bring her in to a lab uh, at the university to do a cytology test just to f find out in if indeed she was in heat, um, and she was. I actually got a phone call the very next day in, in, from the vet who did her examination and it was definitely, she was in heat. Um, so she was diagnosed with ovarian remnant syndrome, uh, which is a basically um, some possible tissue or a uh, possible hidden ovary was left behind um, when the spay, when her initial spay surgery was done. And with that, um, if that happens, um, a female cat can still go into heat. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's rare, but it does happen. Um, and um, I th think what, what um, uh, the, like I said, the Humane Society has a program, a spay and neuter program. Um, <clears throat> where um, just to cut down costs, um, a spay and neuters are done by university students who are studying to be vet techs and, and or vets, um, and uh, so I guess the student, whoever uh, performed the spay on her, failed to look further to see if there's any leftover tissue and whatnot. Um, and unfortunately, we, we didn't, we weren't, um, we didn't adopt, uh, Sophia then. So, like, she wasn't officially our pet, uh, or officially adopted out to us. So we didn't have a choice of where she would be spayed. Um, so on June 1st, which is actually next week, which is a Wednesday, I have to bring her back to the... Um, University of Guelph, uh, the small animal hospital, to redo her spay with a, um, a specialist. So, which is, yeah, it's unfortunate that her spay needs to be done or redone. Um, you know, she has to be put under, um, you know, they're going to be doing a ultrasound just to find out where her leftover tissue is and or if there's any hidden ovary somewhere so they can go in and remove that um and uh yeah this has to be done uh because from what i've my research is that she is in the risk of of uh, uh f developing pyometra uh or a developing cancer in the future like breast cancer or ovarian cancer in the future um and also, it's it's very exhausting for a cat to go into heat over and over again, which she has been doing in and out of heat. Um, and, you know, it's exhausting for her. We've had a lot of sleepless nights. Um, she's been yowling quite a bit. Um, you know, all the, if anyone who's had a cat that um, has not been spayed or neutered knows what kind of... what, what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> it's... Yeah, I've, like I said, my husband and I have had a lot of uh, sleepless nights and I'm surprised a lot of our neighbors have not complained um, to us. So, uh, but anyways, this is being taken care of um, and uh, she's in a good home now. Uh, we, we are responsible pet owners and we knew exactly something was, was wrong. Uh, when she started exhibiting signs of having heat or going to heat. Um, I asked the vet, she's not in danger. 
so it's just she's annoying um, and it's funny now that I'm doing this video I'm actually like I'm, I'm actually filming this video in my craft room I have the door um, shut behind me um, she's actually sleeping now in the other room uh, and uh, but normally she's just yowling on and off so it's been hard to do any videos uh, with her around um, and uh, which is unfortunate because um, you know I have a cat tree uh, in my craft room next to my work desk um, and uh, you know it would, be, it would be nice to have her in my room while I do some crafting and uh, I have let her in my craft room where I actually do work as well <clears throat> um, during the week uh, and uh, I have let her um, sit in her tree providing she's quiet there are days so that she's quieter um, she will sleep for most part during the day as many cats do but <clears throat> it takes her a while to settle in um, but uh, as soon as she starts yowling and all that I have to kick her out because uh, my work until I, I do phone work um, and my uh, I, so I just can't have her in the same room as me if she's if she's like yowling and so forth so yeah that's why I've been away um, I've posted a video of her briefly um, in, like playing with um, one of her toys and uh, yeah she's she's so so pretty and so she's very pretty very um, very sh very very shy very friendly um, and she is she's just she's she's a really good cat she's just got some issues I, f I find with like I think her former owners, um, I'm pretty sure they abused her in some in some ways. Um, she doesn't really like being petted on the head, and, and it's it's taken her a while for her to let us even pick her up. Um, she's like I said, she's the opposite of bloke. Actually, um, bloke um, has never he never knew anything about abuse uh, right from the get go. Um, so he was all about love and he was very trusting with her she's got some trust issues so we're working on that and I think once this spay is redone um, and she's all healed and whatnot I think she will make a she'll be a calmer cat and, and happier as well so yeah and she's 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 young she's two years old so um, hopefully we can have her around for quite some time um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah it's been really nice to have another cat around to be honest and um, yeah so that's why I've been away just trying to keep her busy um, <clears throat> and um, yeah so I'm trying to take care of this um, yeah so I do have other videos coming up. I do have a Dollarama haul and I do have a Dollar Tree haul. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of crafting only it's because it's been quite hard to do any crafting while she's in that state of being in heat. Um, but um, sh surely I will get back into crafting. Um, I do miss it so um, anyways, enough of my babbling. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye now.